reasons. First of all, um, the, that of the Horejo Tabita Pulaku, and I'm therefore concerned about the issue of uh, herdsmen farmer clashes, and he's also concerned, and we discussed um, steps that will need to be taken to begin to look at some of those issues. But in particular, um, I came to appeal to him on the case of the 37 herdsmen who were bombed by the Air Force in Nasarawa State uh, a few months ago, uh, which uh, we wrote a letter to President Buhari on. Uh, and we have now written a reminder because it's a matter we do not want to be swept under the carpet. And um, the President has asked me again to send him that letter, and I'm sure that he will look into, into the matter. Uh, the the third major issue we discussed was the issue of poverty, especially in northern Nigeria, the questions of out-of-school children, girl-child education, uh, and how uh, um, and, and his thoughts on that matter. And this is a big priority for him. Um, and we would be, uh, again, uh, continuing with the conversation to see how we can help with ideas for how to address these issues because uh, without education in the north and without educating the girl child, you're not going to have um, uh, uh, an amelioration of the extreme poverty and insecurity in the north. So it's really about the economy, about the people, uh, about his policies to encourage him and to also uh, make it clear that uh, at any point in time, uh, we are here. Uh. Thank you very much. I'm your brother Israel Great. Not too long ago, the former Emir of Kano, Sanusi, uh, Lamido Sanusi, was in Asorok to see the new president, Alhaji Ahmed Bola Tinubu. He stated the purpose. He was there to speak for 37 headsmen that were victims of a Nigerian Air Force uh, bomb. It was a mistake, according to them. He said they wrote to Buhari, the former president, and uh, as of today, nothing was done. So he brought a reminder and that they will not allow such sensitive matter to be swept under the carpet. But you see, of all the activities of his men, the number of people killed Community savaged, farm destroyed. No, uh, the man was not there to talk about it. Go to Benue and see thousands of people living in IDP camp. That's not the issue. But that one of uh, some his men were victims. He is asking for justice and insisting that it must not be swept under the carpet. Another issue he presented was poverty in the north. Then the issue of girl child education, the issue of uh, 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 out of school children, these are issues he demands government must take urgent action to address. That there's no way poverty in the north will be addressed, insecurity in the north will be addressed if this issue of uh, out of school children and get right education is not on the front burner when it comes to government policy and actions. What a lesson will the church leadership learn from what one man had done? Have you ever heard of a church leader going to Asorok to discuss issues? Affecting people of the South. Affecting Christianity. Have you had the church leader going to the, to, the, to the president to talk about the killing of Christians in Kaduna South? Not. In Southern Kaduna. The killing going on in Benue. The killing going on in Plateau. In Taraba. Have you heard of any church leader going to the president to say, your Excellency, 
government must respond urgently to address these issues. This is so unfortunate. But you see, the church leadership can learn from what this man had done. He was not there to look for any money body that will give him uh, uh, millions of naira. Uh, thank you for coming. He was not interested in that. He was not there to talk about his denomination, to talk about his project, his executing, and ask for support or donation. He was not there to ask for land allocation. He was there to address issues affecting nothing Muslims. These are the things. Do you see why there are people who follow them? Do you see why there are people who obey them? Because the leadership handled those issues affecting his men, affecting the people. They speak for them. You, 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 you have seen the video. How a man is just out there to talk about the interests of his people. You hardly see this among the Christian community. You hardly see a church leader going there not to talk about his interest. Not to talk about any denomination, but to talk about the welfare of the Nigerian people, especially people of Southern Nigeria. Let church leaders learn. Let church leaders seek the good of all. Let church leaders speak about issues affecting their people. Let us learn from what Sanusi Lamido Sanusi had demonstrated. Let us learn from it. Nobody is talking about Louis Sharubo, whose only offense that she refused to deny Jesus Christ, or that the two girls were released. But this girl, nobody is speaking about her full interest. This is so unfortunate. No church leader has gone to petition the presidency concerning what Eurofai said that never again will a Christian occupy sensitive position in Kaduna and in Nigeria. In that sort of nobody has gone. No church leader has gone to Asorok to complain about what Asalent Okobo said. That the Igbos are dying Wotu Wotu. He will search for them and finish them. Nobody has gone to Asorok to say, Mr. President, something urgent needs to be done. This nonsense cannot be tolerated. Nobody has gone to Asorok to complain about this. Sense. This is so sad. Can church leaders learn and follow the example of Alaji Sanusi? Lamido Sanusi. If you do, heaven will rejoice over you. Thank you and God bless you.